is the Davy Max Sports Program. That was Chris Pepper Stanley, who's back live in the announcer chair, yeah. getting a paltry round of applause. Oh, I like this. Welcome not, back. Feel back a lot. Feels good. I'm Dave McDonald, East Side Dave Pepper, and then uh, we have the master engineer extraordinaire doing one of the best jobs he's done so far this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Ho! Sean Ho! And of course, you know him as the greatest musical band leader in the business, the one and only, the keyboardist, the, the, the mostest with the hostess. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Ho! Hey, everybody! Good Sean! Yeah, Roy Schaefer, our usual band leader, is out. Obviously, back to the Methadone Clinic. Yeah. After the last, I would say, seven to eight Davy Max Sports programs where he has clearly been under the influence. Whacked out. I. Tell you, Pepper, as you missed last week's Easter special. Oh, I love a, Easter. A special that I got over 2,000 emails in my Gmail account. Damn, girl. Didvod at gmail.com. And, and uh, people were uh, contacting me on eastsidedavecountry.com. People Baller. loved the Easter special. But I will say the one person who was certainly unstable, imbalanced, unbalanced would probably be the word. His name was Roy Schaefer. That bad? Sean O, so many times we rehearse the songs before we do the show live. Don't give it all away. And we try and tell Roy, you know, just get to the hook. Just do the thing. And so when we were doing Bruce songs, because I had seen Bruce that week, and then we were put, making Bruce songs into Easter songs, he mm -hmm. kept going with these 14 to 16 minute, at least it seemed like that, intros. He loves an intro. As if it was like, shine on you crazy diamond. Mm. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Maybe he just wants to jam. Maybe and I'm going to say something else. He had a few choice words for Pepper, right? Mm. Did oh, he not? Wow. He, he was the announcer and he said, yeah. Pepper who? Yeah. It's my gig now. Yeah. The announcer role. Well, he ain't here and I am. And co-host role. Good. That's Talk what you call yourself. Talk for 17 hours straight. <laughs> Good. So, Go right ahead. But we do have a tremendous amount to do in sports. And we do wish Roy Schaefer uh, good luck on cleaning up I and don't. getting his life That's together. Right, that. Go deeper Hopefully. down that hole. Um, Spike your veins all day for all I care. Okay. That's fine. That's on the record. Yeah. Pepper well, wants he was Roy. Oh, okay. crap about me. All right. Well, he was. But that's on the record. Your thoughts are on the record. Yeah. Now Wishes, we really. We have some breaking news right off the bat. In Florida, huge news that is just coming to the Davy Max sports programs. That's exciting. Um, the man who has shot Trayvon Martin, young uh, black kid, has been arrested, which wow. means 
Wow, I, finally. I, so what that means is, I guess, the the Miami Marlins will be without their manager, Ozzie Guillen, for yeah. an extended period um, of time. He's been arrested finally. after he shot Trayvon Martin. Ozzie Guillen uh, has been arrested that's by... Not, yes. That's filthy. But that's, that's not what him. That's not that's the, the... You're thinking of George Zimmerman. I know. All I know is... It's not Ozzie Guillen. I look to the South, mm-hmm. George and it's Zimmerman. Florida, yeah. and it's Hispanic guys, yeah. and they're constantly getting in trouble. Yeah. I, am, I don't know if... This is a sort of a bigoted thing to do, but I like to lump them all into the same person. That's bigoted and racist. I like to also make stereotypes about them, too. Hey, you're like, a racist. Like, oh, uh, look how many of them are in a car and stuff like that. Right? Oh, uh-huh. look at that. Uh-huh. Look how hard he's working on uh-huh. the lawn. Oh, he's a sleepy Mexican. Right. Look no, I say he's working hard. So... He is absolutely. Yeah, that's not Ozzy Guillen. That's George Zimmerman. He's the guy there, who shot Trayvon. And him. and Ozzy Guillen is also in trouble no. for another thing, Peppy. He's only in trouble for one thing. Oh, so George Zimmerman? That don't sound Hispanic to me. Not really, but that's the guy. <sighs> George Zimmerman? Yeah, that kind of sounds like someone who should be like in a Wes Anderson movie or something. I don't or know. A synagogue. It's just, I don't yeah, know. it just sounds. It doesn't. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess it could sound a little bit Jewishish. Um, so Ozzy Guillen, though, of course, the other thing, the main thing, is that he's in trouble for saying he loves Fidel Castro, which uh, I found very funny. I love it. <laughs> for uh, some well, reason. As much as he loves Fidel Castro, I love Ozzy Guillen. I don't have let any me, problem with a man loving another man. Let me just say this. I don't see what they hate. In a, I don't want to anger anyone. I certainly don't want the Cubans to uh, protest our program. No, we love our Cuban uh, It's listeners. the number one independent sports show on iTunes and Stitcher.com for a reason. We have over 3,000 Cubans listening to us at any given time. Mm-hmm. Okay? But... I sort of understood what he was saying. Fidel Castro avoided being killed. Assassinated. He lived. By governments. A hundred miles, if that, from America. And they couldn't get it done. This is the guy we wanted dead for years. Remember that? The Bay of Pigs, the this and that. Godfather the, 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 The missile thing. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I remember, I remember that. They're like those guys aren't going to win. And then, then Michael, Fredo Michael, had to leave. Well, Michael was like, "Well, if I see a guy who's going to die, yeah, he is. They are going to oh, win." Oh, Jesus Christ! They should. Why isn't Michael the president of the United States? So, I mean, I, for for one thing, I would say that's that's you know, I understood what he said. The one thing I would say is if if he just didn't say it in Miami. You can't, can't you have a little bit more intelligence? I, he's, I have. He's a loose cannon. I have a uh, a wife who has Jewish blood in her. Oh, I wouldn't going around saying, "Hey, that Himmler was funny." <laughs> yeah, together. Huh? Well, you told a good Mangala. Um, hey, a lot of strides in the medical field. I'll tell you what, that Goebbels had some funny books that he wrote. Let me tell right. you something right now, right. Jew girl. Oh, uh, don't call. I wouldn't say that. Good. You know, it's like, Good. I mean, but that's, it, it would be a similar type of thing. You have to know your audience is what I'm saying. Once you, you know, you know you're going to be in, a, in Miami, you got to be careful. I you see. stay away from any uh, uh, pro-Castro stuff, okay? And you certainly stay away from any pro-Pedro from real world San Francisco because we all know what kind of commie bastard that son of a bitch is. And I don't know where he is, but if I had a chance, Pow! Right in between the eyes. He died. He died of AIDS. What? Years, years ago. Yeah. AIDS. Yeah. And I guess we got him, Peppy. I guess we got that Pedro, baby. Don't let me into this. Woo! Don't. We got him, Shano. Why are you playing that? That's Roy's. Just trying to fill in. (laughs) What about your laughter today? What? <laughs> oh, that, what? Oh, this is, this is weird. This, <laughs> this is, is very weird. weird. This is weird. Why won't Roy ever sober up? Just, just do it more naturally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shadow. <Shotto. laughs> All right, that's enough. I think it's really awkward. I know it's very strange. Poor Isaac um, Ian. He's getting railroaded. <laughs> Stop that. Five, five uh, game suspension, which isn't doesn't seem that bad, but also it's. Overreaction. There's it's not a, bad for Ozzy Guillen. He can he can live with it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. And he put out that big apology. But uh, stupid. I'll tell you, I, well, I did watch the press conference, and the entire time I was just uh, marveling. I, I was just saying, uh, 
Uh, he's got some nice hair, that Ozzy again. Sure, he's got good head of he's hair. He's got nice hair, baby, nice. And he looks like the trainer from Ooh, Walk. Ooh, that's nice hair. Oh, yeah, it's the same it's guy. Uh, what was I, I? Now I've totally forgotten his name. Um, the guy from Luck, I mean. Tesla or something. Tesla? That's the guy who invented radio. Electricity. Tesla. Oh, hold on, that's see. not Spanish at all. It was, um, oh, I forget what it was. Diego? No, it wasn't something that generic. It, it had some flair to it. You could tell. Fernando. Escalante. Yeah, I Escalante. I was way off. Escalante. So you had uh, Ozzy's nice hair. It was shimmying, kind of. I thought it looked great, but I do love the when they try and double talk and do the thing of, I I'm try I think in Spanish I talk in English it didn't come out right and they're like um, wait a second so you did say though that you love Castro well I was thinking I like how he avoided being killed for forty years yeah, not that's a skill I didn't. Then he went so far as to say, no, 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 I didn't even say that. I said, I thought this man has hurt so many people. No, you see, your actual words were, I love Fidel Castro. <laughs> right. He actually, but this is what Guillen said. He goes, this man who has hurt the so many people, <laughs> how can he stay in power for four decades? No translator is going to screw that up. Hmm. It doesn't go from that in Spanish to... I love Castro. I respect I, Castro. I don't know how that son of a bitch stayed alive for, for 60 40, years. For 60 years. Yeah, I love Castro. I think it's Te Amo Castro. It's very easy. Yeah. We know Spanish now. He's not like doing some weird, you know, Far Eastern, you know, Asian language that stereotypical Americans can't figure out. Spanish is pretty easy. This isn't some foreign... There's Google Star Translator. Star Warsian type of <laughs> alien language mm -hmm. that we need a George Lucas translator on set in order to understand what the people are saying. Well, everyone understood each other in the Star Wars universe, pretty much. I right? know. I was always am amazed at how, forget about bilingual, multilingual, multi-everything those people I were. I think they always had translators like implanted in their heads so they could understand. I don't think that was the case. I just think then that they the understood. what's the reason for uh, C-3PO? Come on, how could they... How could they is always uh, bragging about how he can speak so many languages. Oh, yeah, good point. And well, how do they understand what Jabba the Hutt said? How many huts they run into? I think Maybe Chewbacca. What? I think you would understand a hut, but yeah, I think the trying to understand Chewbacca would be nearly impossible for a human yeah, because it literally is just growling. I think Jabba the Hutt seemed like he had an actual language, but there are certainly you know the there was like guys like in the first movie at that cantina when. Um, yeah, Greedo. He's talking to Greedo the whole well, time. Well, Greedo, but I mean, I'm talking about the, the the one guy where they're about to leave on the Millennium Falcon and leave. And this one guy goes to alert the stormtroopers, and he literally, it sounds like he was fast-forwarding an old Betamax machine, where he's just like, <laughs> and you're like, That's, this is impossible. Nobody can do this. George Lucas didn't think this out. See? Now, Master Engineer, yeah. Star Wars bed would have been right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Music from the film. That's you. Star Wars. That's you. I was. Uh, see, no, you're drinking. Yeah, you're like, drinking. Oh, I was being Roy. This is what this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Back. Roy is banging junk <laughs> in his arm, and Sean O <laughs> is He's pounding at the boobs. Keyboard. Don't look at the keyboard. There's only one Shaver. You have a computer in front of you. YouTube the Star Wars music. Shinola. All right. It's you're probably more useful to have a computer instead of a keyboard. In front of you. <laughs> right. It's probably harder to do with YouTube. <laughs> I'm the engineer. I think I know where to play it. <laughs> so listen, Ozzy Gian, it's fine. Now, I mean, I don't understand. He was contrite. It's a, th you know, he an hour's a long time. An hour to sit there with no little speech, which a lot of these guys do. Yeah. Remember in the NBA uh, finals last year, we were. I was criticizing that. LeBron. The, after LeBron yeah. and D Wade lost a couple games to the Mavericks, they did their post game thing, and they were and looking, they were looking at a paper, yeah, and they were reading their things the entire time. So they were saying, "Well, we need to get more." What's that? Pressure, pressure. That's right, pressure. We need to get more pressure on the ball. Is this the Star Wars music? This is the Cantina music. I tell you what, get get me the Millennium Falcon. Make me time travel four minutes ago <laughs> when this was relevant, and then we'd all be in great spirits. 
But now we've moved on. We're talking about LeBron. I don't even know what the hell this has to do with anything we're talking about. So you don't want to hear this? <laughs> D-, D. Wade, baby. What do you say you pause it, and me, and I'll, I'll try and work it back, and then this way you'll All be right. satisfied, and I'll be gotcha. just hoping to... Miserable drunk. <laughs> satisfy you, I guess. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so my point is this. An hour long is a long time to sit there, get destroyed by people in two different languages... I think he's done enough. It's just a stupid thing, and that's why you knew this was going to happen sooner or later with Ozzy Guillen. If you didn't, you don't hire him. You wanted to be you know, in the papers and everything. It just so happened that he destroyed 90% of your fan base. The 90% of the entire town, not even the fan base, the population of the city you're right. in. I don't know why these people are so angry anyway. It's not like Castro killed people or anything. Well, <laughs> you know? He, he did. I mean, it's like bad Dennis Miller here. It's not like Castro murdered people or something. No, huh? he's a communist dictator. Communist. I mean, for crying out loud, I've seen other dictators before. It's not like Castro held people in prisons in Cuba. He, no, he did. He you know? still is, probably. Right, Chachi? Who's Chachi? What is that? I mean, it's not like uh, no, it Castro, is. you know, uh, uh, imprisoned innocent people who spoke out against him, and then other of those people had to build rafts made of wood and sail to America, specifically Southern Florida, poo-poo. No, I actually... I Bad Dennis think, Miller impression here. That exa- that's exactly what happened. Bad Dennis Miller impression. I mean, it's... I agree with Ozzy Guillen. It's not like Fidel Castro had some kind of crazy-ass big beard and all of a sudden murdered people or something you know, in their sleep. Both those things like actually that. happened. Yeah, I mean, it's, ju- not, it's not like uh, Castro had some sort of... Cuban Missile Crisis with John Kennedy or something. No, no. Look, pick up a history I mean, book. That did happen. Not like there's some kind of Bay of Pig situation right. going on right. here. See, I think Kalaka. I think you know all these. I mean, it's not. Happened. I mean, it's not like well, why, you can why? buy fancy type of cigars in Cuba, Kucha. You can. They're called you Cuban know? cigars. I mean, it's not like El Duque pitched for the Yankees. He did. He, he was he Cuban though. Yeah. Answer is yes. Yeah. Poo poo. Bad like Dennis Miller impression. Old. Signing off. Bye, Bad Dennis Miller. It's not like. Oh wait, now you're back. Fidel Castro wore army fatigues and invited Michael Moore down to look at his health care in the movie Sicko. No. And that's... then he gave power to his brother. See now you're just saying things. Jizzy. Like uh, my name's like Jizzy. Wants to rule the, the world. world. Dennis Miller here saying those were new rules. Why aren't you on? Good night. Why aren't you calling games anymore? <laughs> Dennis Miller here. All I all I like to do is talk about Victoria Jack to Victoria Jackson about he, how evil the libs are. <laughs> The libs. He's only terrestrial, baby. What the hell happened to Dennis Miller that he went to such a weird place? He got enough money to say what he really thought. <laughs> I'm not sure he possibly <laughs> thinks that at all. I think Dennis Miller is like perpetrating the best type, sort of Andy Kaufman type routine. Okay. Where, you know, 10 years from now he'll write a book and say like all these a holes thought I was being serious. So. Let Ozzy Guillen off the hook is my point, you know? I mean, we saw what happened with George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin. Mm-hmm, it's terrible. And we saw what happened with Pedro from Real World San Francisco. What, what do these things have to do with <laughs> Ozzy Guillen? And it's like we saw what happened with a Cuban sandwich. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Better than a panini. That's for oh, sure. No, panini's better than a Cuban no. Yes. It's better than a panini. No, it isn't. What do you like better, a panini or a Cuban sandwich? A panini. So you had a lot of paninis down there? Yeah, I had Mexican paninis, yeah. It was great. <laughs> is that all like, you did? I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm getting paninis in Mexico. Where'd you go, to Chipotle? Yeah, mm. I was went to the Chipotle and the Taco Bell. And That's I where like, I would have yeah, went, too. Drunk. I would have went there, too. Yeah? 
I would have went to Next Chipotle. Time you were going on vacation. I would have went to <laughs> ch- I would have went to Chipotle. It's Chipotle. Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. And uh, some other place. Burritoville. Yeah, I mean something. You know, and I would have had lots of sangria. That's what I love a nice uh, gla- uh, glass. I was gonna say real, real a pitcher. pitcher. Yeah. Two, on. couple pitchers of sangria yeah. on a nice warm day. And then what you do is on a nice warm day, you have a you make a couple. Pictures of sangria. What should I do, Dave? And you go inside to your house, put the air conditioning on, put all the curtains up, black out the room, and watch Godfather. Don't pay attention to the sunlight. It's bad for you, is my point. No, I, sun hurts. So me. really, you could do that any day, any time of the year. Don't if have you, to. If you, yeah. No, you don't have to. You, no. see, you see any donkey shows? Yeah, I saw a bunch of donkey shows. I saw a donkey show, then I went to Chipotle. And then I drank. Well, it sounds like fun. A bunch of sangria. One of the things that I like to do also when I go down to Mexico, that's what I call it. Well, uh, that's I took um, kind of gone native. Four, five years of Spanish, four in high school, one at Fordham University wow, in New York. College level. Before Baller. I well, it, and uh, in college I got a zero point two. Uh, well, that's good. Spanish, right? yeah, point two. How did you get the point two? You may ask. Well, this is how. I didn't show up to any classes, failed every test, but and then I skipped the midterm. The brainiac, though, woman, uh, then said, "Well, I could skip the midterm. I, if I come back a few days later, I could take the midterm." She had already given the midterms back to my friend, so I had it in my bag. Here's true laziness for you when it comes to academics. Yeah. Rather than studying the midterm, you just brought it with you. I right? brought it with me, and she gave me the exact. Same midterm with the same questions, so I took it out and just copied it. It's only worth a point two, and that was it. No, uh, I got an A, but I but it was, there was ten tests in the final, and I got zeros and on every one of them. Never showed any up to any class. Yeah, what were you doing instead? Drinking and getting high. Same it was an eight thirty in the morning class freshman year. My first oh, semester yeah, away from home not was gonna not going to happen. happen. No. Why'd you take that? It's not going to happen because I didn't register for class until the, I was like the last person to register mm, for classes. Of course, Blue. no one else. You know, everyone. Had registered in the summer, or this or that. I didn't know that, so I registered the the day before we were supposed to start classes, and I had the worst classes of all time. One was like Egyptian horticulture from the three thousand to two thousand no era. No one's ever going to use that, Indiana <laughs> Jones. <laughs> where, where is your doctorate frame? What do you have? It, what do you have it hanging? Oh, I got a lot of zeros. I f- I had a lot of Fs at Fordham, which was one of the reasons. Why I, I got ex- expelled, but it was also it was really more of my conduct away from the classroom, huh. burning a Christmas tree down outside of a nun's house, throw, throwing paint down the staircase, breaking a six hundred dollar mirror in the men's bathroom were the three big time flaws that I perpetrated. You think the grades would have just got got you kicked out? But no, no. I mean showing up hmm. to my uh, religion class oh. freshman year intoxicated still, oh. and it was taught by a priest. Yeah. Father John Deere, which was kind of a weird name, if you ask me. I mean, bad Dennis Miller impression here. I mean, yeah. Father John Deere. <laughs> like the company, right? What is he, a lawnmower? Oh, is it, what are you doing? What? Don't. Oh. Sean all gets ideas in his head, <laughs> and he thinks that it's going to be good. And It's right. actually what happens is when someone's trying to... Riff off the top of their head, you, you just destroy everything. It's okay. Well, Don't worry. You, you just destroy any momentum. Have you been reading the New York papers? <laughs> because when I got back, I, the first headline I saw on the, on the back of the New York Post was Mets 4 0. What are they going to do with this year? They're going to do it. It was <laughs> mind boggling. Well, they, this they guy, just, you know, who Steve Serbia is the, of the course. sports writer. Yeah. I hate this man. Oh, he's awful. With so much passion. He's terrible. He just blows everything out of proportion and. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a horrible writer. He's, ter- he's terrible. There's only a couple guys who are worth reading in New York. Bill Madden is one of them. Uh, Steve Serb, he's a joke. Mike Lupica gets weird sometimes, where he gets Luke, on his Luke little soap box. Much better than and he's okay. He's he's good, but he gets on. He he as he's gotten older, he's gotten very soapboxy. And yeah, Steve Serb, he's a nutball. He is just. I don't even read it because it gets me too annoyed. Well, the Mets lost today. Yeah, their yeah. second game, so they're four and, and two. David Wright's going to be out with a broken pinky, I think. Yes. So yeah, I mean it's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. What can you say? A bunch today? of people writing about Bobby Valentine is basically just tanking the team already. Bobby Valentine, the Sox are are either one and four, or one and five. Oh. I I think that they lost today. I think they had a day game today, 
And uh, this Bobby Valentine thing is going to be a disaster because he is now, if this continues, he will start the Bobby Valentine way of managing, which is call out all of his players, yeah. make them uncomfortable. And these guys from the Red Sox don't want to hear that. And these, again, these, these. Yeah, we're one in five. One in five. These self righteous, selfish players had no idea how good they had it with Terry Francona. This guy was letting them drink beer and, and eat, eat chicken. chicken. All they had to do was win a couple games. Don't tank. Biggest Don't just win a couple games. Maybe take one beer and chicken session off and win on Saturday. But they like Instead beer and chicken. Instead of losing 15 games down the stretch in September. So now you have to have Bobby Valentine as your manager. And guess what? There's going to be hell to pay. Oh, it gets me excited. Bobby Valentine is exciting. It just gets me angry. When players don't realize how good they had, and, and there's grass is always greener. Bobby Valentine, it's, it's, oh, God, I wish I was in Boston right now just hearing the talk radio. I think oh, just those you? people are going to probably either want to be jump off a bridge or it's going to look like the uh, last few scenes of The Departed where there's just going to be Everyone's nine guys other. getting shot in the head. <laughs> All over the city of Boston. All the main characters. That's right. Yeah. Everyone. All the main characters. Yeah. You're talking your Bobby V. Yeah. You're talking your big Bobby David Ortiz. Yeah. You're talking your... Euclid. Euclid. Yeah. Euclid will get shot in the face. Beckett. Yeah. Gotta Good. throw a pitcher in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's weirdness. But I am happy baseball is back. Oh, I'm it's excited. It's you know, the well Yankees... Over the weekend, it was the Yankees were 0 3, Red Sox 0 3. First time that was tough. both teams were 0 3 since 1966, um, which is a long time ago. Now, the Yankees, it was the first time they had been 0 3 since 1998. A little season, they won 114 games duty. How do you like that? Okay. Huh? And the World Series. So if you're a Yankee fan, you don't panic. No, not at all. Jeter's off to a good start. Yeah, he's rocking. Yeah, great stuff. A Rod's doing pretty well. It's the veterans who are doing well. Um, a lot of other things going on. The Marlins, you know, are doing decently. The Orioles were doing decently. I think now that they've been oh. beaten by the, they're they, they're probably three and two. Now let's see. The three and two, yeah. The Tigers are going to win the World Series. <laughs> the fact that they added Prince Fielder to that lineup. Now I know that they lost, you know, the uh, the Victor Martinez, and that's why they went and got Prince Fielder. But forget it. Justin Verlander is just as good this year as he was last year. So he's going to be awesome. Their lineup is ridiculous. Yeah, they're, they're scary. They're going to win the World Series. I'm telling you. You're calling it right now? I, I am calling it. It's a Detroit Tiger, Florida Marlin World Series, Whoa. despite all my... Oh, and let me bring this other thing up with the Florida Marlins, okay? All right. I am... Miami Marlins. Repulsed. Miami, thank you. M repulsed that this ownership to open up their new stadium wheels out a shaky as hell, thinner than I've ever seen them. The sunglasses look gigantic. Head shrunken like Beetlejuice, Muhammad Ali. Yes. Oh, really? Who had, he came out for that? He, was, he came out for Awful. opening day. He has... Nothing to do with the with the city of Miami. Yeah, was, He's was, from Louisville, does Kentucky. He, does he live there now? I guess. Who knows? Wait, what doesn't make any sense? I don't think he even lives there. Maybe he does, but the point. But he he's not a well known Miami person. No. I'm not saying you bring out cheeseburger in paradise, Mr. Jimmy Buffett. Well, obviously they want someone, but you can't throw out a Dan Marino. You, there, certainly, there's no golfer in the Miami area. I know Tiger Woods lives in Orlando. Tiger Woods never do that. He's Maybe you could do something like that. I don't know. Will Smith sang a song about Miami. That's fine. Bring out Jiggy. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, he gets brought out. And I'm telling you, the, the sunglasses and how thin he was. The sunglasses are gigantic. He's really thin now. He's got. I, I thought it was 1992 Bono. I was looking at. Oh God! The I was Bono's like, let's white. do a little octoon baby, baby. He's gotten paler, Muhammad. I don't know why he's gotten paler. I'm not trying to be racist, but it's like he's sickly. So he looks yeah, ashen. He's been sickly for decades. The fly. Yeah. 
Really? Even better than the real thing. Oh. One. Mm-hmm. Just something, songs by you some, too. Something oh. just <laughs> for the love of God. I'm trying to give you a teaching lesson today. No, no, just just keep talking about you too. <laughs> no, let's. Why don't we just <laughs> regroup? Why don't we just regroup? Please. <laughs> Come on. That song was supposed to be from Octune Baby. Oh, I don't have that I album. Said, <laughs> Everyone does. Let's regroup on this. Let's go out with this. This is this is not. This is not. <laughs> let's go out. No, this is what we want. Let's go out. We're going out with it. We're gonna take a quick break. All I try and do is tr- teach you and educate you and make you the new radio star of the future, the master engineer, See the, the board op that everyone loves. And you give me this. What I clearly said, 1992. <laughs> you can't drown me out. This is my show. Yes, it's Skinny Man Studios, but it's my show. Slide of hand and to stone. We are going to take a break. On a bed of I can't go out with that. No, no. It's just too. I'm sorry. You know, I remember when uh, I told you, but I told you about my roommate, uh, Kevin, who. Um, I know you might have been out for that. I don't know you've missed so many Davy Mac shows lately. It's true. <laughs> I know. I went on vacation for the first time in six years. So uh, the guy, uh, I had a roommate at Fordham, and his name was Kevin. And um, this is how he talked. Hi, David. Should we watch Friends today? Mr. the weird guy? <laughs> but, but he had a smile, and <laughs> oh, it was yeah, really creepy. Yeah. And I just, that song, even though I'm a YouTube fan, every time I hear With or Without You, it was because he would watch this Friends tape over and over again. And his favorite episode was when Ross called into a radio station and, and dedicated it. a song to oh, Rachel. God. And he's like, David, watch this part. It's really good. <laughs> Seriously? He asked you to watch it? I swear to you. He goes, David, watch this part. Did he call you Rachel? Now, now, now play it, for real. Now I'll, Ra- I'll, I'll stall. That's ready for this. <laughs> oh, shit just wants to. <laughs> no, because I want to hear it because this is what he does. Yes, this right, is it. Okay. That was a good job, Chano. See, there you go. It's playing. It's playing. You. So he goes, This is my favorite Friends episode of all time. What? He had a weird way of speaking. He was uh-huh. from uh, Toledo, Ohio. And he okay. said, Watch this Friends episode. <laughs> Watch it with me. Uh, this creepy, is the best dude. episode it's because really weird. at the oh. end of the episode. <laughs> At the end of the episode, yeah, Ross is gonna dedicate this U2 song to Rachel over the radio station. There it is. There's the song. Oh God! Doesn't yeah, it yeah. just make you get a little bit emotional? I mean, not at all. All the sitcoms in the world, but very rarely do you want to cry a little bit during a, a sitcom episode, Dad, Dave. I want to cry during this. And I'll tell you something else, Dave. I love sitcoms, <laughs> Family Ties, and The Cosby Show. Mm. Well, I love Growing Pains too, Dave. But I never cried at the end of one of them. But when Ross dedicated this song to Rachel, well, the floodgates opened. The floodgates opened. Floodgates to what? So. You can go out now, Sean. So, um, that's why I knew I, I had to make this kid's life. This was, by the way, the third day of us in our first semester. When did he start calling you Rachel? No, that never happened, Sean. No. <laughs> okay. What happened was I convinced him to become a male cheerleader <laughs> and then poured yeah, he... 40s of crazy horse beer down it <laughs> and drank, drank 40s through his megaphone and he upset him and he would go, I have a game tomorrow, and you're pouring beer down my megaphone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I'm just gonna put on. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just gonna put on this Friends episode. <laughs> chill. <laughs> well, which episode? Is it your favorite episode? Well, he had. I said this on the XL show. He had a tape where he sat down and taped all of the Friends episodes, but paused it. So there was no commercials. Uh, re- remember back in the old days of VHS, yeah, yeah, where you had a six-hour yeah. tape. Yeah. So he had a six-hour tape of Friends, no commercials. First of all, it, that's way more than half an hour each episode, you know, because no minutes. commercials. Right. So it was like a good Three. 18 episodes. It's a season. Almost a season. <laughs> this is my favorite season, Dave. 
Se- season three. <laughs> <laughs> we should just talk about what terrible things you've been doing. I went through 13 of them. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine you are. Oh, awful. I would have probably been the only person you could have roomed with yeah. because I was the only one who I, I was a horrible, horrible roommate. No, <laughs> there was no there. Was, I was a, a living nightmare. I'm uh, sure. I, no, so was I. I would force the kid to play Street Fighter Two or NHL hockey with me, drunk at four in the morning. Mm-hmm. When he he was like, I have to be in bed by ten. I've got cheerleading practice tomorrow at seven forty-five. There, there is this. This kid, this skinny <laughs> Jewish boy who was okay. acidic, basically. Right. And he was a LARPer. What was his name? Um, I think it was Zach. Okay. His name was Zach. Here. LARPer is the people dressed up like wizards? Yeah, and he had like yeah. um, Live an enti- entire arsenal of cardboard and duct tape <laughs> weapons. He brought them to school? Yeah, he brought them oh, to school. Oh, you can't him. make that mistake. Yeah. Especially with his first semester? Yeah, his first semester, yeah. See, I... I didn't even bring the music that I like because I was so nervous and like, I don't know if people are going to like Pearl Jam in college. I wasn't going with any of my friends. So I'm like, I'm only going to bring a football and my T-shirts. That's it. Yeah. Just be kind of generic. but Yeah. And then I'll, I'll let the weirdness unravel. And for me, it only took 48 hours, but oh, yeah, I wasn't yeah. going to bring a cardboard sword yeah, he had, or in my case, my homemade lightsaber. I wasn't about to bring it. Jesus. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so he had, all, so he was constantly LARPing and he would, uh, in the cold, running around the woods and he blamed my smoking <laughs> on him constantly <laughs> having a f- flu. <laughs> Makes sense. And one night he's like, my dad's coming, my dad's coming to, to pick me up tomorrow. You, so you, what, what do you want from me? Stop smoking? <laughs> no, no. He's like, um, so you can't like do anything crazy tonight. So then I threw like a, a party, like a giant party, <laughs> like a bunch of grain alcohol yeah. blacked out drunk and right. then I, I came to in your next, dorm room this was a dorm this room this was an apartment this was apartment housing on campus oh okay wow you guys had the life yeah well I did no one who lived with me you did. got set up with an apartment yeah it was random because the dorms filled up so they put me in an apartment on campus that's fantastic yeah nice. it was it was debauchery alright insane so his rabbi father <laughs> Comes oh, the no. next day, like nine in the morning, yeah. and then sees the state of my apartment where there was a garbage pit in the middle. Yes, because I didn't throw anything out. So uh-huh. there's empty forty bottles. There's yeah. empty cups. There's just what are you gonna do? Popcorn, because that's all we ate was microwave popcorn. <laughs> Zach wanted it. He should have cleaned it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Throwing the bottles out the window. Do something, the, Zach. The father sees it immediately and then just takes the kid out and they move out that day. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't dealt with me for months. And it was the first time his dad came to visit. What a little jerk. Well, this goes out to you, Zach. Somewhere I'm sure, I, I, you, I'm sure you hate me. <laughs> you, you, you have your little wizard hat on listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program, <laughs> crying, because Pepperick just exposed you for the sissy you are. Oh, yeah. And if I see you, Zach, I'm going to kick you in the balls. Same thing goes to you, Kevin. I'm going to take that megaphone. Drink some OE out of it, baby. Yes. Anyway, all right, listen. This is a very nice song. We're going to have a very quick break. It's going to be very, very short. And we're going to come right back. Davey Mac Sports Program, Eastside Dave, Chris Pepper Stanley, Shotto! Davey Mac Sports Program. Yeah. 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 It's the Davy Max Sports Program. Sports program the other day, Mac. Davy Mac Sports program. Eastside Dave McDonald, Chris the Pepper Stanley, and Stano. And we're having a fun time here. Roy Schaefer on his one week vacation. 
No one knows where the hell he went. Maybe he went to Mexico or wherever. Bubba Watson is your 2012 Masters champion. And this young man, I was uh, hoping so much for Phil Mickelson to win. I don't know why, except maybe the fat face mixed with the attempt to grow long hair. Sort of like that uncle who wants to be cool, but just can't quite pull it off. Oh, he'll never be cool. But he's still affable in a way, like, hey. He's that's, not a bad guy. Yeah, that's uh, that's Uncle Buddy. Look at what Uncle Buddy. Oh, Uncle Buddy's on, wearing his REO Speedwagon shirt. All right. He thinks ironic? it's cool. No, no, Uncle Buddy is not ironic. Uncle Buddy's a good 48 years old. Oh, God. This is the man that he loves. Maybe yeah. Uncle Buddy should not wear that T-shirt. Yeah. Or tell anyone he likes that. So uh, that's why uh, Mickelson I like. But um, Bubba Watson came, and he... Uh, did the job. He won in the sudden death. Actually, it took two sudden death playoff holes. And then he cried and sobbed. And it was uh, it was embarrassing this to watch. sounds awkward. <laughs> it was embarrassing. He cried all over his mom's shirt. <laughs> then he had a couple of friends. And he was crying with them. Then he started to cry in the post, uh, you know, thing interview with Jim Nance. And he was crying over there. Then they took him outside to put the jacket on. He cried again. I mean, it was it was it was nonsense. It was Stuart Smalley yeah, time. You got to keep it together, dude. Uh, I, I don't know what was happening, but you know, I, I mean, rock that jacket with pride. Let's go here. And if I could, you know, make one suggestion, I mean, mm. maybe change the color of the jacket. Plaid. Yeah, just don't. We don't always need the same thing. And I think it's weird to have the guy who won the year before to put it on him. I don't know why. It just seems strange. You know, because usually the guys have competed. So now, who I suspect as a Nazi, last year's winner, Charles Schwartzel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charles Schwartzel put, you know, he just competed. And he had a horrible tournament. Oh, he must feel terrible. And the last thing he wants to do is put the thing on crying no. Bubba Watson. He wants to get over that loss and get the hell out of town. And I'll tell you something else, too, Bubba Watson. He bought uh, the General Lee, the Dukes of Hazard car. Wow. Like the actual car from the show? I believe so, yeah. The actual car, <laughs> which uh, I'll tell you something else. He's from Florida, right? F I Florida, I but he actually, Masters is in Georgia, of course. No, but he's he, from Florida. He is from Florida, but he, uh, and he went to school in Georgia. All right. Um, so, yeah, he has very big ties to the South. Yeah. I'd get those doors fixed if I was there. Maybe he wants to run in, him and his caddy, right. get to hop through the mm -hmm. window. It would be fun on there, you know, and maybe Tiger's chasing him. Like, get back here, Bubba Watson! Oh, I'll get you, Bubba Watson! I don't think Tiger sounds like that. That's what Tiger sounds like. And he sounds much whiter. And Tiger Woods, is, I mean, and Bubba's like, come on! Come on, caddy! We've got to avoid Tiger Woods! And here's Tiger Woods. I'll get you, Bubba Watson! If it's the last thing that I do, Bubba! Just a good old you can't avoid Tiger Woods forever, dog. I'm Boss Tiger. Boss Tiger Woods. This was a great song. Yeah. This is when TV shows, you know, they really did great songs. Almost every song I would want my iPod back then. They really cared about the lyrics. Here comes. Now it's Here comes. Making their way. That's right. And I actually loved, dude. I had a General Lee toy as a as a kid. Dude, that's I loved it. I have one. Too. It had everything. It had the Confederate flag on the doors and on the top, Perfect. and everything like that. And I was just like, I love me some Dukes of Hazard boys, Mama. I know as I grow up in Jersey, but I see the world the same way they do, Mama. Really? I hate Tiger Woods. Oh God. I hate him. You shouldn't say that. Mamas, yeah. I hates me some Tiger Woods. Oh, what Beanie had to do. How did he get into the golf club anyway, Bob? All right, see, that's coming off as racist. No, I don't mean to sound like Fuzzy Zeller. Remember the Fuzzy Zeller quote? Actually, look it up, because I don't want to screw it up. But when Tiger Woods was just... And if you notice, Fuzzy Zeller dropped off the map. Well, you're probably going to have to write it, put in the Tiger Woods thing. 
Fuzzy Zeller dropped off the map. He was actually a, a decent thing. I think he won a major or, or two, maybe, uh, something like that. And then he made some Tiger Woods comments, and that was the last time you ever heard of Fuzzy Zeller. It was almost like, I'm sure someone from the PGA Tour said, Fuzzy, we'll give you a million dollars. Disappear. <laughs> Get out of here. Just skedaddle, Fuzzy. Because I believe it was when Tiger was very, very young, and he brought up something about... Um, well, is this it? Well, he said something about Tiger. I know he said, uh, how did he get into this club? Is he uh, here to serve us chicken? Oh. <laughs> Which was one of the things that he said. Yeah. And then when um, I wow. believe Tiger was sat down to like have lunch or something, and he said something like, oh, I bet you this guy wants collard greens. Oh, Jesus. That's, that, that's what Fuzzy Zeller said. Really said that. Yeah, these were some things that he he Why thought. Why can't I find this? Wow. Don't worry, I, I I got it. I got I I got the gist of it. If you put in the chicken or the collard greens, you'll find it. So that's the point: is that you know you, you have to be careful. Okay, be careful with these things. Now the Arkansas University has fired their head coach Bobby Petrino. Um, oh God! Because of uh, the stuff that he did. What? No, I found the quote. Okay, what did he say? He's doing quite well, pretty impressive. That little boy is driving well and he's putting well. He's doing everything it takes to win. So you know what you guys do when he gets in here? You pat him on the back and say congratulations and enjoy, and tell, enjoy it and tell him not to serve fried chicken next year. Okay, there you go. That was just one of them, too. Or collard greens or whatever the hell they serve. Oh, my God. Okay, say it now in English. Hold on. Let me say it. He even calls him a boy. He says, you pat him, mean tiger, on the back. Say congratulations and enjoy it and tell him not to serve fried chicken next year. <laughs> or collard greens or whatever the hell they serve. <laughs> <sighs> that happens. Listen, people put their foot in their mouths. I've made lots of comments in my time, okay? Not you. <laughs> oh, I have, Peppy. Not about, you know, African Americans. No, of course not. I'm just going to say that right there. So, Jeff, you noticed that I heard about this thing in your weird Mexican vacation? I heard about this, yeah. thing Where the guy... Uh, Car- he motorcycle first, accident? He first had a motorcycle accident. He said, it's just me there. <laughs> then it comes out that he was riding with a chick. Oh. Then it comes out she was 25. He gave her a job because he wanted to bang her all the time. He's married with four kids. And the worst thing, I mean, okay, you know, say what you will, whatever. But then when the administration asked him about it, he just, he blatantly said, nope, just me. That's awesome. As if it's not going to be found out. And we've learned from so many people, starting with Richard Nixon, it's always the cover-up. Yep. If he just said, oh, listen, there's this broad, and I, I got into a thing, I didn't want my, you know, this my and that. My wife, and uh, I like to get it. Uh-huh. But the, my favorite shot is the, uh, the, the picture of Bobby Petrino Right after the he got out of the hospital and he was wearing a very neck brace, right? uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan <laughs> type of neck brace with like scars on his face. I thought it was the same guy. I thought somehow the weasel was coaching the Arkansas football program. I did. And if the, the weasel can uh, can coach Arkansas, maybe that means Jimmy the Mouth of the South can coach Alabama. Oh, that'd be awesome. And hopefully Slick will coach Grambling State. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you're preparing all those people up. <laughs> I don't know where Mr. Fuji would coach. I'm not sure if there's a, you know, wherever. Whatever. Harvard, maybe. <laughs> and then Classy Lynn Freddy Blassie. Classy Freddy Blassie to me would be like a Duke. Classy. Mm. What about like Michigan? Mm, Michigan. I mean, we want Freddy Blassie to freeze in his old age in, 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 Mich- in Detroit. He's a tough old man. No. Put him in the South. Duke is where he should be. He's classy. The name, the name says it all, yeah. So we have a lot of that stuff going on. I love uh, Mark Cuban for so many reasons, but the reason that I like uh, the most is Lamar Odom uh, has not been giving it all since he was traded by the Lakers to the Mavericks. And uh, he's really been pouting and acting Missed like a Missed a bunch diva. of games. He's late to every practice, though they say he lives across the street well. from the practice facility. He's late to every practice, and he's so upset because he can't be in Hollywood where he was making some awful reality show yeah, with, uh, with, with some fat, with, with the only fat Kardashian. How he chooses that, and he chooses her to marry. 
Oh yeah, he it's loves beyond it. me. He loves it. Yeah, I'm sure he does. He just wants that's to be gonna a work out. Show. Yeah, that, that that marriage is gonna work out just fine, huh? They seem well, happy. And, and by the way, by the way, just as a quick aside, uh, uh, what's his face? I heard that um, uh, Chris Humphreys. Nets. Of the Nets is uh, p- possibly playing to sue Kim Kardashian yeah, unless is. she publicly apologizes and says the whole wedding was a sham. Because believe it or not, that idiot didn't realize what was going on. He was the only and one. And thought he was going to get married. And we're just going to move away. Woo! The cameras are going to go away. It's going to and- be great. I can't believe I'm getting married to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's what he calls her. <laughs> He calls a KKK, baby. No, no he shouldn't. Call her that. He, he calls a KKK. No, stop, stop. He adds an extra K for kissing. Is all I meant. Not kissing plan. Kim Kardashian. Oh, kissing Kim Kardashian. And it's like, woo! I'm gonna be kissing Kim Kardashian, baby. KKK. Let's not. No, let's not. Let's not chant KKK on the show. How about that? Here we go, KKK. Here we go, no, KKK. No, don't. Kissing Kim Kardashian. Don't do that. That's are the going, initials that that stands for? That's going to get us. Kissing Kim Kardashian. That would be a great name for a show. Her next reality show. Kissing Kim Kardashian. Because she's always looking for uh, headlines, so we just call it Kissing Kim Kardashian. But then. On the bottom right hand corner yeah, of the TV, little, little. you have KKK there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Come on. Like, Entertainment Tonight has a little ET yeah. on the little right hand corner. Has it. Yeah, they all do it. Yeah. Watermark or whatever. KKK, they call them. baby. Bug. Right? No, it's, we'll just get everyone in trouble, actually. Everyone knows KKK is bad. And then I want to do an Allen Iverson, like, say, like, he does, like, charity work yeah. for people. It's nice. He wants to. Reclaim his image, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, goes around, and helps people out, and stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going to call the name of that show. Allen Iverson does service, and then in the right hand corner, you just put that uh. there. I don't know what it spells. Hey, it I- spells age, and you know it. No, I was just talking about Allen Iverson Alan does service. Allen Iverson does service, service. A- and I don't know how you spell I- it. D- I'm not good with homonyms. Aids, like. The thing that killed Pedro. <laughs> that spells AIDS? Yeah. All right. If you said so, Peppy, yo, Mr. Mexico, Mr. I Got AIDS. <laughs> I hope my nickname is never <laughs> Mr. I Got AIDS. <laughs> this George Zimmerman, did he really get arrested? Yeah, I know he got we were up. joking around earlier before. He's uh, he's arrested now? Yeah, second yeah. degree murder. Took him charged, second right. degree murder. So, how does it go from all of that? To because the nine uh, one uh, nine one one tapes got released. That's what started. I heard those tapes were doctored. No, they're not. What are you talking about? I heard the nine one one tapes were doctored. That something was that. Well, this is what my friend, who's a Republican, Jason, told me. Watches Fox News. He told me that the tapes were doctored. <laughs> me, I just I go with what everyone says. I go really. He said. I said. Where, where, where'd you learn this? I got it from uh, online. I go well at. That's good enough for the day, man. Bam. I think I go, if you saw it all wait a second. So you saw online that the George Zimmerman tapes were doctored? He says, Yes, I did, David. I said, Well then that kid was asking for was it. All right, so I, I put that in. Nine uh, Zimmerman tapes doctored in Google. Right. All right, so well, it's there it all right wing. Oh, it is? Yeah, right wing. The Blaze, which is Glenn Beck's. I see NBC Fires producer who edited tape of Zimmerman. From LipstickAlley.com, Twitchy.com, USMessageBoard.com. So these are all right wing websites? TheRightPlanet.com. I see one of these. This says, what is this one? Oh, this says TheSS.com. So that says it too. So I don't know what the SS.com is, but I think that could be a show. We can just put SS on the bottom right hand corner. That's associated with Nazis, Dave. You know, Peppy? I think the new Kissing Kim Kardashian oh, website and I also got says Pepper, that. Pepper, speaking of, I have this new thing that I think would be great. It's an animal show for Discovery, yeah. right? And I would, I just want to focus on all the animals. So I'm just going to call it North America Zoo International. And I'll put that in the right-hand corner, and it'll be like, look at all these fuzzy animals and stuff. Right. That spells out Nazi. What? It doesn't. I don't know how... You need to proof these homonyms before I says them. I can't tell what you're going to say. Okay. Fine. So you want the Nazi AIDS and KKK show. Uh-huh. That's what's happening right now. I, I have this friend, right? He works on uh, um, uh, NJ Transit. That's a, that's, he's a conductor. Nice. Okay. 
And I thought he's his name is Bill, and he's a real character. Let me tell you something. You know, sounds like one. So I thought Bill, he would make a great star for a reality show, uh, right? So uh-huh. I I I thought of this show uh, that I thought would be hysterical, like just great. Everyone would love it. And it's Bill undertakes train talking, you know. And this way, but <laughs> but just what you said. Oh man. I was a stretch, dude. <laughs> but, huh? No, Sean, I was all messed up. Love it. What was that? Is that the butthead impression? No, it was, that was me uh, laughing for you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to ask you to do anything for me again. Just push the button, Sean. You're, you're, not, you're not working out tonight. I just, I laugh when you tell me. <laughs> God. It wasn't. <laughs> it's, you're very awkward tonight. Have what you had you some extra beers tonight? No. Extra no? beer, Sean. That's what did I you have him. enough? Maybe I think that's the key. Have you been too? Has there been too few beers? Yeah, I didn't drink enough. Yeah, I think that's why your brain is is the wires are crossed tonight. Don't worry, we're gonna shoot a video and everything will be back uh, to normal. Right. It's better be quick. It's gonna be a quick video, pops. Chills out. What do you gotta go to <laughs> goddamn Ecuador now over here? Let me tell you something, Shado. The god where in the world is Pepper San Diego? <laughs> What's he gonna be in Moscow next year or something? I, I think I'm just, ah. just gonna be in San where, Diego. Where is Pepper now all of a sudden? What is he gonna be in Tokyo or something? Let me tell you. I got Pepper sitting on my left, yeah. crisscross wirehead Shano in front of me. <laughs> right <laughs> right <laughs> shaver. <laughs> In some goddamn flea bitten rehab, Davy Mack trying to do a bad Dennis Miller impression, Chachi. I think you're pulling it off. I got Pepper here. He's saying next thing he knows, he's going to be with Matt Lauer on the Great Wall of China over here, Chacho. That'd be nice. I don't know if I want to hang out with Is Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer and Carmen San Diego going to be spinning the globe with Marv Albin over there. <laughs> Marv Albin showing up? Is he now Roker? Lynn Berman's going to be there and Al Roker oh, nice. and the whole goddamn Today Show. <laughs> Except Meredith Vieira because she hasn't worked on the show in four years. What about Kathy Lee and Hoda? Kathy Lee's there. Goddamn. I'll be getting messed up with them. Yeah, I want to do that show. I mean, I don't understand. I just don't understand it. What, I can't be a guest? I don't. I was thinking, do you see the show called Impractical Jokers? I don't want to take shots at my family of True TV because, as people may I or may not know, I read a review of it on the, in the paper. I didn't see it. All right, well, I kind of like it. People may. Oh God, you don't see that I'm going to trash no. them. You don't <laughs> anticipate that I'm I'm leading to a thing. What? You want to be on our team? Oh, okay. <laughs> don't you ever be on our team, Sean? No. <laughs> that was a good sound. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really bad <laughs> night for you. Sean, I can only equate this to an extra inning baseball game of 14 innings where the guy goes like 0 for 7 with four strikeouts. What? what? I had a great <laughs> intro today. <laughs> no, Sean was just, I, just... I started it off with a double today. <laughs> Sean was one for one for a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he hasn't drank enough. I think that's the problem. Now he's pounding them high. And he's got... Pound some more. Can we see you do some shots in front of us? Do we have an eight, some Coke? Do we have anything? You want to get gacked up? I, I mean, no. well, let's watch. Let's let's snort some Coke. Watch some Bill undertakes train talks, which is going to be butt, the butt show. <laughs> <sighs> I only understand what this laughing is. Just, All right, don't even worry about it. Don't explain it to me. Let's just so, wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap. Let's it just up. wrap up we're the good. program. We're good because we're, we've we got to do it. And hey, I'm going to tell you something. Oh, what about impractical jokers? You're going to no, talk about. Oh yeah, that. okay, fine. That show I hate. I don't even remember what Let's I was going to say. Wait, on. hold on. Time out. I, let me think about what I was going to say. Oh, the Impractical Jokers yeah. on True TV, uh-huh. right? Terrible terrible show. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm I, saying I'm that saying I'm not going to destroy members of my family because I'm a True TV family. You I was know, on the world's you're, dumbest in a right. starring role. You're part of the stable. And if you want to see it, you go to eastsidedavecountry.com in the video gallery, and you can see my, my legendary Emmy-winning performance. You won an Emmy for that? I did. What? I don't. The daytime, I, mean, I made it nighttime. myself. Oh. I have tin foil and Twinkies, but I it looks good and it looks real. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, about impractical jokers is that you know um, I think I was going to say that Sean O uh, just totally derailed me, and that I have no idea what I was going to say. So there you go. 
That's the end of the show. <laughs> Come on, hit, hit, hit. I don't even remember what I was going to no, say. I'm not going to let the show end until you figure it out. I can't remember. I truly can't. True. What were we talking about right before Impractical you, Jokers? Uh, we were talking about the video we were going to shoot? Or was that last break? Well, it is going to be something about that. Something yeah. about uh, being punked and impractical jokes. Yeah, that's going to be the video. Shows. Maybe I'm just going to say that's going to it's going to be the basis for the video. That's the whole point. All right, that's it. All right, we got it. We got it. So anyway, oh yeah, that's right. Thank God the the text is up for once, where I don't have to hear people say Dave is a, or you know this or the pepper is that or something. But someone was saying, how can Dave not? Uh, they pointed out why I'm not on television, and my point was impractical jokers. Oh yeah, I don't want to criticize them. Mm-hmm. Come on, if Impractical Jokers is on it, television, you're it. telling me that you go into the video gallery. If you're a television station, you simply pick at random one of eight them. videos. There's your goddamn half hour comedy sketch show. The go. goddamn new Monty Python's in Give town. Us Fifty grand. Because I'm gonna tell you something. I watch them on Comedy Central and this other stuff. I watch those two black guys. Oh yeah. It is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not good. I, uh, but that what can really you do? Like. I'm not supposed to, whatever. So if anyone out there knows anyone, please get me in touch. Best, best along. Shano, yeah. let's hit the uh, closing credits. I want to thank Chris Pepper Stanley. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to thank Roy Schaefer for really destroying this show. Roy is not here. We never realized that Roy sitting over there on that side of the room kept things in balance? Somewhat, yeah. Even in his imbalance <laughs> kept us balanced. And Shadow came in and he was fantastic. He had spirit. Engineer spirit. He did he did a wonderful job today. And I want a round of applause. Sean I want a, a standing ovation for Shadow, who is the man of the hour. I'll tell you right now, baby. You're getting the award, baby. You got it. Shut up. I'm sensing some sarcasm. No, I'm not being sarcastic. Not. Yeah. You came in, yeah. ran the board fluently. Now, I said, uh, let's do an Octoon Baby song. You chose something from Joshua Tree. Fine. Sorry, I'm not a U2 connoisseur. <laughs> it's okay. We get that. But here's the point. In all seriousness, nobody... Runs a board like Mr. Sean O. Hell no. Edits the show together, puts it on iTunes in a very rapid fashion. This show is going to be available on iTunes in about 45 goddamn minutes and Stitcher. Subscribe to iTunes. It's all because of the Sean O. So I do thank him. Do you like that one now? That's better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Feel good about yourself. I'm trying. Uh, we are live on Sirius XM this Saturday right, at baby. 7 p.m. That's 7 our time. 7 on, one, 7 on Wednesdays, 7 on Saturdays. Cool. Easy to remember. Good night, everybody!